Hello and welcome to this ICT lesson. Today I want to show you how you can use the count, count if and sum if functions in MS Excel. These are very helpful functions and they can make the work of analyzing data very fast, especially if you are dealing with huge amount of data on MS Excel sheet. The first one is the count and this one simply counts the number of numeric values only in a range of cells. The count function does not count anything which is not a number and you should take note of this. If you are trying to uh, drag over a range of cells with both numbers and letters, it will only count the numeric values. Another variation of count is the count if. This one will only count numbers related to a specific item you specify. If the value or the number is not related to the item you have specified, it, it will be skipped. It will not be counted. And finally, we have sum if. This one is used to calculate totals, but with a certain condition. The condition you will give is what it will follow. If you give a, a certain item to be summed, then it will only pick values related to that item you've said to be summed. And the rest or the other values will be skipped. To better understand this concept, we will go ahead and do it practically in MS Excel. Here I have a sheet and this sheet has certain information related to the cell of vehicles. We have sales reps in this column and their names are never repeating. And here, these are the regions they sold the vehicles in the previous year. And we are only dealing with three brands of the vehicle, Toyota, Nissan, and Subaru. And here we have a column of the number of units which was sold by each cell representative. And this is the amount received after selling the units specified in the unit sold column. We want to do a bit of analysis here. We want to know the number of salespeople who sold Toyota and the number of salespeople who sold Nissan and Subaru as well. Then in this other table, we will find out the total number of units sold uh, for Toyota, Nissan, and Subaru. We will as well calculate the total amount received from the sales of Toyota, Nissan, and Subaru. Finally, I will also count the number of sales representatives here by using the count function. And remember, the count function cannot count any values which are not numbers. So I will use the unit sold, sold column instead to count the number of rows, which represents the number of salespeople. Okay, to get the, the first thing is to determine the total number of units sold. And it is easier. We are going to use the sum function. You just type your sum, then I will select it from the list by double clicking it, and I will drag over the values to be added. I will go ahead and press enter. So, what I am getting here is the total number of units sold in the previous year. The total amount of money received is what we call sales, and we can as well calculate it here by clicking this answer and dragging it across like this. That is a shortcut. We can as well just do the sum function again. Select this and drag over all the sales figures, then press enter. Well done. Next is to count the number of sales rep. You can manually count one by one like this. But what if a list has a thousand rows or more than a thousand rows? You cannot manually count. 
So the easiest method is to use the count. But the count is not working on text like these ones. It is only working on numbers. If I go ahead and apply the count on the text, you will see what will come up. If I just use count, then I select the number, the names of the cells representative, then I press enter. You can see it is returning zero, which means it did not find a number because it works only on numbers. I will delete that. Then I will now apply the count on the row with the numbers, like this one. I can just drag here. And when I press enter, I get 15. So indeed, we have 15 cells representatives, which represent each row. I will again now move to, to this other end here. I want to know the number of sales representatives who are selling Toyota. And in that case, I will use count if to count for me the number of sales representatives. So to do that, I will just come to count if by writing it like that. Count if. Then when it is highlighted in the list, you just double click it. And you can see it has two parts. It, it needs a range of cells where to search. And the second part, you give it what to search, which we call criteria. So I will go ahead and give it the range where to search. I want to search Toyota. Okay. I will come to the product and select all of them like this. Then I will put a comma. The criteria being Toyota, I will go ahead and click the cell with the value of Toyota inside. You can as well write the, in, in double quotation mark the word Toyota, and it will still work. You can write it like that, or just click the cell with the value you want to search. I prefer to just go ahead and then put a comma. And I will click the, the, the cell with the value of Toyota like this. I just press enter. So it means there are four people who sold Toyota. And if I count, I will get four rows for Toyota here, which represent the number of sales representatives. The same can be done for, can do the same for Nissan. I will click that. Then I will give it the range to search and put a comma. Then I want to search Toyota. So I'll just click this cell then press enter. Same can be done for Subaru. Count if double click the count if give it the range and put a comma. And I will select Subaru here because that is what I want it to search. Then press enter. So finally, if I add total down here, I should be able to get 15. That is correct. So it corresponds to this total number of sales reps. So this is the breakdown of how many people were selling Toyota, Nissan, and Subaru. And I did this using the count if. Then I will come here and do the sum if I want to know the total number of Toyota sold, total number of units of Toyota sold, Nissan and Subaru. Then how much money we received as sales for Toyota, Nissan, Subaru. And I will have to add, but with the if. Okay, so I will just come here and write sum if then double click it once it is double clicked you can see it has three parts the first part is the range where i want to search toyota the middle part is the criteria that is the actual thing you are searching then finally we have the sum range where we will get values to sum or to add and that is very simple let, let me search toyota from this range 
from here to here in the product column and whatever I want to search is Toyota so I'll just click it there and I want to add the units for Toyota so I will come to the column for the units and select all of them like this then I'll just press enter so the total number of Toyota is um, 70 I will do the same to Nissan I will type equal sign sum if double click it now I want to get the total number of units for Nissan so I will get the range which is the product column and what I am searching is Nissan and I want to get the number of units sold for Nissan so the sum range will be the column for units sold I will select the all of it and press enter so we sold 99 units of Nissan I will do that uh, to sum if I will click it and get the Subaru from there and get Subaru from the cell and return the values you get here after adding them so the total number of units is 86 so this breakdown when added together must rhyme with 255 here to do that equal sign sum select select the three and I get 255 which is equivalent to the total number of units sold I will do this for the cells sum if double click then I can come here give it the range comma and what am I searching I'm searching for Toyota comma which is the range of cells to add give it these figures for the cells then press enter then again sum if double click the range to search for Nissan of course it is here and what am I searching Nissan and uh, where to get what to add is this sales range just like that and finally I will finish with Subaru double click to get the opening of bracket specify the range to search and give it what to search and what the column to pick what is to be added then press enter so I can calculate this total here using the sum function and I will get 3,769,980 which is equivalent to the total cells in this large table that is how we apply the count count if and sum in, in MS Excel thank you for participating please try this at home and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.